Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to tackle some problems involving relations and functions and equations in two variables. All right, so the first question asks us to identify the domain and the range of the given relation. So if we recall from the previous lesson, the domain is all of the inputs and the range all of the outputs. Domain typically corresponds to the x value and range corresponds to the y value. So I can see that all of my x values are the domain, and those x values will be represented by negative 2 and 3. So my domain will be values of negative 2 and 3. My range is going to be all the outputs. I have 1, 5, and uh, 4. And typically you want to write them in order, sequential order from increasing or from the smallest number to the largest number. Uh, so question number 2 asks us to define whether the given relation is a function. So remember the definition of a function is a set of relations in which each uh, input has exactly one unique output. Okay. Now the outputs can be the same for different inputs, but the uh, input always needs to have just one corresponding output. All right, so I take a look. I have my input 0, my output 3. Input 1, output 1. Input 2, output 2. I'm sorry, input 2, output 2. Input 3, output 4. Input 4, output 2. Now I have the same outputs. That's OK. What I don't want is to have one input with two different outputs. So do I have one input with two different outputs? No, I don't. I have all different inputs, and I don't have two different outputs the same input. So yes, this is a function. Problem number three asks us to use a vertical line test to determine if the relations represent a function. So remember, if I can draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph and intersect only one point on the graph, then I know that it is a function. So as I take a look at number three, I can just tell visually that I can draw a vertical line and it's going to go through two points on this graph. So this relation, or these relations, does not uh, do not represent a function. In problem number four, I do the same thing. I use a vertical line test. And I can see that there's really, there's nowhere where I can draw a vertical line that intersects with two points in the graph. So this indeed is a function.